What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Hope you guys are having an amazing day today. We are back yet again, bringing you guys some more competitive ranked level battles for Pokemon Sword and Shield. In today's video, we're going to be showcasing an absolute banger of a team that features Steam Engine Colossal alongside with Lumberry Landris. You guys already know the deal. If you do enjoy the content at any time, make sure you support me as a content creator by leaving a like on today's video. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, seriously, yo, consider subscribing. Over 60% of my viewers are not subscribers. That blows my mind. So if that's one of you guys, seriously, scroll down a little bit, click that big red subscribe button and join the community but let's get started here with this team preview starting off in that top left corner with the one and only Zassian a top tier restricted mod in this format this thing has a normal move set and normal uh ability and item it's got interpret sword rust sword as its ability and item and then iron head play rough protect and sacred sword nothing new just something super simple and super strong at the same time Right next to him is going to be Rillaboom, another great meta Pokemon for this format. Got Grassy Surge, got the Salt Fest, Wood Hammer, Grassy Glide, Fake Out for Flinches, and Knock Off to take off items. Middle left is going to be Dragonite, and not just any Dragonite build. This is kind of like an off meta Dragonite build, but it's really only here to trigger the Steam Engine and Weakness Policy for Colossal. It's got Inner Focus, it's got Safety Goggles, and then the moveset is going to be Protect, Surf, Aqua Jet, and Ice Beam. So this Pokemon, we're not really going to be bringing them in unless we have Colossal. Like, it really doesn't do anything more than that. This is legit only there to either use Surf or Aqua Jet and then get that Colossal rolling and dominating the battle. Next to him is going to be Tornadus, a great support mom for this squad. It's got Prankster, it's got that Focus Hatch, it's got Leer to drop defense, Tailwind to give the speed control for the team, Swagger, and Hurricane. The reason I really like this Pokemon is it has defensive drops for all of our physical attackers. It's got Tailwind for the speed control. Swagger pairs well with our Lumberry Landers. We can Swagger him, confuse him, give him the plus two attack boost, and then Lumberry can just take it away. So that's why I was saying this team is Lumberry Landers and Colossal. So we got two different combos we can go into and two different combos we can win the battle with. Bottom left corner is going to be that Landorus. We got Intimidate on that Pokemon, Lumberry to take off the Confusions and keep those attack boosts, and then we got EQ, Rock Slide, Iron Tail, and Fly. Great moveset for this Pokemon. It's here to hit hard. It is here to just take out Pokemon left and right. Bottom right corner is another heavy hitter for the team, and that is Steam Engine Colossal. Once we get this thing rolling, it's going to have plus six on speed and plus two on attack. That is phenomenal. It can pretty much just sweep the battle from there. We got Protect, we got Meteor Beam, we got Heat Wave, and we got Solar Beam for the moveset. Guys, if you want to try out the team for yourself, rental code is at the bottom of the screen. But let's get after it. Let's hop onto that ranked up ladder. Look to get some wins with the Steam Engine Colossal and Lumberry Landers team. What's going on here, guys? What is going on? We are going up against a team with no restricted mods. Absolutely none. It makes me feel like we're back in like Series 9 or something, but it is what it is. It is the beginning of the season. We are in Ultra Ball tier, so we're getting this right now. We're getting some of these teams right here, but I'm just going to lead the uh, Colossal and the Dragonite combo for battle number one. It seems like it can do a lot of work up against a lot of these Pokemon, so I'm going to go into it. I'm going to see if we can just sweep and dominate the battle from there. Got to bring Zacian in the back because he's an absolute beast. And then last but not least, do I bring Rillaboom? Yeah, Rillaboom's going to come in here. Let's get Rillaboom out here, and let's lock in this team. This should be an easy win for us. We should just be able to roll out here and get a rank up with this one. But I wonder who he's going to lead. Probably, if I had to guess, maybe like Tailwind with the Wimscott or Sabai. It's either Wimscott or Sabai, or he could go in the Dusclops. He has a few decent like support leads, so we'll see what he goes into. We'll see what he does from here. But like I said, we should be able to just steamroll this guy and get after his battle in battle number one. But guys, let me know for the question of the day down in the comment section down below what team do you think is going to be strong for series 12 i think a Groudon and kyogre team because you can use two restricted mods is going to be amazing but there's going, to, there's going to be a lot of different combinations you can actually use for series 12 so i think it's going to be a lot of fun i think it is going to be a lot of fun but i think there is going to be some busted combos with two restricted mods on the team so let me know your guys answers in the comment section down below he actually uh leads two support mods with sableye and dust cops and in this case i'm just going to you know dynamax and do i set weather or do I, I get vocal with damage, right? I said we go for the vocal with damage and take out the Sableye. Definitely recall. We could Surf. Let's recall Surf. Or do we uh, go into Aqua Jet? Hmm. What is my player? What is my player? I'm just going to Aqua Jet. I'm just going to Aqua Jet, proc this Steam Engine, and we're going to get after Sableye. We are indeed going to get after Sableye. Let's do it. Let's do it. You just can't go wrong with the Colossal, the Steam Engine Colossal combo. It's just super strong. It's super strong. Especially his G-Max move is very, very good. Like, I feel like that, like, puts him over the top. He has Volkalith, which makes uh, it do more damage at the end of every single turn. So it's kind of like Charizard G-Max move. So it's really, really strong. It's really, really strong. And it's stab. It's stab. It's, it's really good. So Aqua Jet's going to poke here. We proc in the policy. We get in our Steam Engine rolling. We're plus six on speed. And now we are plus two on attack and special attack. So we're going to be able to do some big damage. Big old damage. But I wonder what he's going for. Leading a Sableye and a Dusclops. Gonna go for ooh a trick. Okay, I'm kind of fine with that. What's he gonna give us? An eject button. That's kind of scary. Oh no! Yo, what? <laughs> this dude. This dude. 
Oh my lord. Just just honeyed me, dude. He just honeyed me. Oh my lord. I gotta give it to him, yo. Nice combat. I don't have a Dynamax anymore. I don't have a Dynamax anymore. That's it, yo. We're bringing out Zassy. I'm not playing around. I'm not playing around, yo. We're still winning this game. I gotta give this guy props. Great little combo there. Hits him with the trick and the eject button. God dang it, dude. God dang it. Wasted my Dynamax. Wasted my Dynamax. Wasted my weakness policy. Wasted my steam engine. Wasted everything. I'm just gonna go into here. And I guess we'll just, uh... I guess I'll just Ice Beam. Maybe look for a freeze here. That's tough, dude. That's super tough. I hate this game, man. Play it off is going to come out here. Bring this thing down. Yeah, this thing's gone. I was going to say, bring it down to its focus sash, but it didn't have a focus sash. And if it did, I was just going to Aqua Jet it next turn. But yeah, I got to give this guy props. But luckily, we're going to get a freeze here. You guys know the deal. We're going to get a freeze right here. Yo. <laughs> That's hilarious, yo. That is hilarious. I love just like making random calls like that and it actually working out. <laughs> but we, we froze the dust cops. <laughs> I think it's like a 10% chance, but we hit those all the time. We hit those all the time. Let them know. We got Dust Cops frozen. And I think the animation is hilarious when they're frozen because they actually just stand still for a good period of time. Like, look at the Dust Cops. It's not moving. It looks like it's just lagging. <laughs> He's frozen. He's going to send out Metagross here, which is not going to lie kind of scary. Probably going to be his Dynamax Bomb. Probably going to be his Dynamax Bomb, right? If we go for Behemoth Blade, it would be double damage. It would be double damage, but this would probably be a lot better because we can also lower attack stat. But no, you know, it's probably not better. Just go into his Sacred Sword. Hmm. Hmm. Are we going to Sacred Sword? Yeah, might as well try to get off as much damage as we can onto the Metagross. We'll double down on him. And we'll go for a freeze on him, yo. Watch me get a freeze on this Metagross, too. Back to back freeze right here. He's definitely Dynamaxing. 100%. No doubt in my mind he's Dynamaxing. I and mean, that's going to be scary because really our Pokemon to take out the Metagross was our Colossal. And that Pokemon outspeeds us unless we Aqua Jet into our Colossal, which might have to be our play here. Which might have to be our play. So we'll see how this one plays out. We shall see how this one plays out. There's a Dynamax for the Metagross. And I gotta give this guy props. I gotta give this dude props. He outplayed me in the beginning. There. Outplayed me hard. I was wondering. I was just like, okay, he's going in Save Lion. Dust Cops. I should just be able to dump on Save Lion. No problem. He ejects Button with the Shadow Sneak, man. Did me real dirty. Dust Cops frozen solid. Get out of my face, Dust Cops. And Sacred Sword's gonna poke. Do a little bit of damage. Not that much. It's not stab. And more importantly, we're gonna get another freeze here with this Ice Beam. Give it to me, baby. Give it to me. Oh my lord, dude. Yo, I swear I'm not cheating. I swear I'm not cheating. <laughs> I swear I'm not cheating. I swear, guys, I'm not cheating. I'm not cheating. I'm telling you guys I'm not cheating. I'm just going to double down on this Metagross again. <laughs> I swear I'm not cheating. I swear I'm not cheating. That it, Dude, I kid you not. That is one of the funniest things ever on my YouTube channel. I'm just like, yo, we're going to get a freeze here. That cop's frozen. Same thing. Yo, I'm going to freeze this Metagross right here. Frozen, yo. Two for two, man. Two for two. We're playing no games today. Dragonite was really not having me talk work on him in the team preview. I was like, oh, we're really not going to need him in uh, without Colossal. Now he's just freezing everything left and right. Doing work. Doing work. Ice Beam's going to pop out here. And I guess that uh, Duskop's going for Shadow Sneak. He's both still frozen. Solid. I apologize to this guy. This guy's probably super sad. This guy is not having it. This guy's not having it. His what's called is definitely going to wake up here. Why am I still going for Ice Beam? I should be going for like Aqua Jet. But his Dust Cop's probably going to wake up here or a thaw out. Yeah, there's a thaw out. Shadow Sneak's going to come out here. And oh, he's proc and policy. Yo, I seriously hope this thing. Actually, we get off damage before this thing even moves. So we might be able to take this thing out. It's going to be kind of close here. Let's see. Bill, we cutting it real close. Can Ice Beam do him dirty? Finish him off. Finish him off. Yo, let's go. Let's go. I, I apologize to this trainer. If this guy is somebody who watches my videos, I apologize to you because honestly, you might have won this battle if I didn't freeze you at all. <laughs> but yo, you know, Jeans, Jeans got that luck. Jeans knows what he's doing. We had that all planned out. We're just like, oh, we're going to freeze with Dragonite. We, we had it all planned out. So don't worry about it, guys. Don't worry about it. His Dynamax is gone. His Sabai is gone. We're sitting in such a good spot. Such a good spot. This should be GG's. This is going to be GG's. He's probably going to quit. He's probably going to quit. He's going to throw out his final mon. And I wonder who it's going to be. Maybe Rotom Wash going to come in hot? I could see it being Rotom Wash. That's a cool Pokemon. It's got to be Rotom, right? Oh, Conkledor. Okay. I was going to say, it has to be one of his attackers. Conkledor works. So he's going to bring out Conkledor. Maybe he just mock punch me, but we're just going to go into this. We're going to go in here, and I'm going to freeze up on the Conkledor. Do I freeze the Conkledor? 
Yeah, I'm gonna freeze Conklor. <laughs> Yo, if we get this freeze, guys, we're done. We're never allowed to play again. We are never allowed to play this game again if we freeze this Pokemon. So let's see how this one plays out. Yo, he, this dude's gonna cry. I swear, yo. If we freeze this guy, I want this guy to just quit. Like, I can just picture this guy, like, throwing the switch out. Because <laughs> what is it? 10% chance? I think it's 10% chance with an Ice Beam. He just can't battle. GG's. I feel so bad for our opponent in that last battle. Not gonna lie. Those double freezes was a little whack. The RNG was totally on our side, but yo, we take those wins all day. We take those wins all day. We're hopping into our second battle here, and we're going up against a very strong team. He's got G-Max Pikachu, Liberia Cinderace, Tailwind Support Whimsicott, Incineroar, Landers for two Intimidate Drops, and then Kyogre for its final one. How should we do this one? How should we play it? I think Roboom's an absolute must. I think Roboom's an absolute lead here, because he probably thinks we're going into the Storm Drain combo, or not Storm Drain combo, the Steam Engine combo, and he's going to lead Kyogre. I'm going to go into this, and then I do still want to bring that combo. I really still want to bring the combo. Or I could bring Lumberry combo this match. I could indeed bring a Lumberry combo. So I could go Tornadus here, or I could go Landers. Now, let's go Torna Tornadus, because we do have Hurricane, and if he sets rain, we can roll out from there. So I'm going to bring that, and I'm going to bring Landers, and we're going to roll out here in battle number two. And then battle number three, we are going to showcase the Steam Engine combo. Because we had two battles left, and in my head, I was just like, yo, one battle, I want to use the Lumberry team, and the other battle, I want to use Steam Engine team. So... In this situation, I'd rather use the Lumberry so we can get rolling out here and grab ourselves a win. But I wonder who he's going to lead. He's got to lead Kyogre, right? Kyogre's got to be the lead. And I seriously hope that because we're leading that real boom. That's exactly why I don't want to go into Steam Engine because say he uh, goes into the uh, Kyogre, he's just going to be able to dump on me because the Kyogre might outspeed, especially if it's Choice Scarf or going in with Whimsicott. It can just outspeed and dump on my uh, Colossal in one shot. No problem. It would be no problem for me. So we're going to end up going in this combo. We have the Grass Guy just to pose that huge threat on Kyogre if he does bring it in here. And then we have that Tornadus who's just great all around. He's just wonderful all around. But let's see who he leads. Let's see how this one plays out. Hopefully he goes into Kyogre. We really want that happening. He's going to go into... Show me Kyogre. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So great little read by us predicting the Kyogre coming in here. And we can just Grassy Guy straight into that. We can just do a lovely little Grass Guy. And we can get a free Hurricane. There's no need for us to Tailwind because we already outspeed. Unless he Tailwinds. But let's see how this one plays out. We shall see how this one plays out. I really do wonder what he's going to do. He has to, he's not going to stay in here, right? Because Grassy Guy is big damage. It's super effective. It's stab. It's in the grassy terrain as well. It's like, come on, yo. It's some big damage. We could fake out as well and read the protect. But I'm just going to do this. And then I'm just going to hurricane. That's going to be my play. 100% going to be my play. There's no, I, I, just, I just think there's no need to fake out here. I just think there's no need for us to fake out. We kind of have an upper hand in the lead. So we might as well take advantage of it. So let's see, we got our drum monkey, our drummer. This dude's a stud. This dude's a stud. I love how they made him play drums, and he just has like a drum set right in front of him with two huge drumsticks. And he's a monkey too, or gorilla, whatever you want to say. Whatever you guys want to say, he's just a cool Pokemon. Just a cool Pokemon. I love how they put like a bush on his head to kind of give it like hair. It's just really cool all around, but he's going to end up Dynamax and Kyogre. We'll see how this one actually plays out. We shall see how this one plays out. We do have the uh, focus at. He's probably going for an ice move to try to take out my roll boom. But I'm surprised at this. I'm surprised he's he's choosing to go into a Dynamax on the Kyogre. Side. I'm honestly fine with it. I'm honestly fine with it. I'm really fine with this. He's going to end up taunting me. That's totally fine. We're dropping hurricanes. We're not going for a tailwind this turn. And Whimsicott's got to be sashed, right? Grass guys can come out here. And that's some big damage. Some big damage. Some big damage. Hurricane comes out here, and hopefully this thing's not Sash, or at least gets Ducks. Let's see. It is Sash. Give me the Ducks. Give me the Ducks. No Ducks. Come on, man. It's what we want. We want the Ducks. Oh, we did get the Ducks. Yes. Let's go. Ducks are on the side, and we're going to hope this thing hits itself. Now, this thing is actually going to change up its weather, which I'm honestly cool with that. I'm cool with that. And Real Boom each, yo. We can say bye-bye to Kyogre. We're sitting in such a good spot. Such a good spot. But we can't Tailwind. That's our problem. We cannot Tailwind. Uh, what do I do from here, though? Oh, he's going to kill his whips guy. Oh, my God. I'm loving this. I'm loving where we're sitting. I'm loving where we're sitting. I'm absolutely loving where we're sitting. Here. I am loving where we're sitting. But the thing is, we cannot taunt with our... Or we cannot swagger with our boy. Because we are taunting right now. So if I want to get my Lumberry combo, it just might not happen. It just might not happen. But we're sitting in a great position for battle number two. But I really want to, like, Robum just do his job die out and then we eventually get out oh he's gonna bring out him so he could have fake out opportunity could have fake out opportunity we shall see what he does he's gonna fake out and take out my robin 
definitely an option. Definitely an option. So we are going to go for the grass god. See if that can come out here. And we're going to double down into this. Uh, we're going to double down into this uh, Kyogre. Just in case he fakes out my one of my Pokemon. So let's see. There's the fake out. Probably in the Roll Boom, right? Yep, in the Roll Boom. Now, is he going to take out the Roll Boom? That's the real question. Hurricane comes out here and we miss. And we miss a Hurricane. He's just going to go into a Geyser, change the weather. And is he going to take out Roll Boom with that? Let's see. No, he's going to go straight after Tornadus. Okay, so Tornadus goes down here, and that's a rough call for him. That is a real rough call because we can, we're still going to be able to take out this, uh, this, what's it called? This Kyogre. I thought he was definitely going to take out our, our Roll Boom. But I'm with that all day. I'm with that all day. We're not going to be able to show off the Lumberry combo. It's all good. You guys already know about it. You guys already know about it. Once we swagger him, we get that combo out and we get rolling strong. But I can just Dynamax Lando here, right? Or do I just go into you? What's our player? I said we just go into you. I'm with this all day. Fire moves will do less damage. Grassy guys can come out here, take out a uh, Kyogre, and we're gonna drop a big old sacred sword onto the uh, onto the Incineroar. Right? That that seems like a good turn. That seems like a good turn, and we still have Dynamax for our Landers in the back. So you know, Glide's gonna come out here. We got first turn priority in the terrain, and we going in with that sword. We are not playing around. We are not playing around. But I'm super surprised he kept that uh kept that Kyogre. In. There's the withdrawal on the Kyogre. But I'm surprised he kept them in in the beginning and decided to Dynamax. In. He's going to withdraw, save him for the back end. I'm cool with that all day. And he's going to send out his final mod, which is Landers. Okay, for nice Intimidate. That's a lovely Intimidate for him. That's a lovely Intimidate. So, Roboom goes to minus two. I think he's minus two, right? Because Incineroar came in here. And Zassian is minus one. Or no, Zassian's even. Grass guy comes out here. Does a nice little chunk. And Sacred Sword's going to poke here. How much damage are we going to do? Great amount of damage. Just a huge amount of damage. So, we have nice speed. His battery's going to pop. Another Sacred Sword will take that out. And we know Zashian is faster than both of these guys. So I'm like him when we're sitting here. He's going to go for Darkest Lariat. That is going to take out Roboom. And we're going to bring out Landers. We're going to Dynamax. Pretty much finish up this battle here. I'm like him when we're sitting. I'm loving it. I'm loving it. Yo, Landers come out here. Especially because if he wants to get out his uh his Intimidates again, he's going to have to swap. And I don't care if he swaps. I really don't. That's just free shots for us. So we're going to get after here. And I think I might just change up weather. Actually, change up weather will not really do anything for us. It will not. We might just want to take speed. Speed could be a good factor for us. Speed could be a great factor for us. But it is super effective. So I'm going to definitely on Dynamax. I could just drop the rock. But I think I'm just going to go for... I think I'm just going to go for the speed, right? I think we need a little bit of speed here. I'm just going to go into Sacred Sword. Lovely little Sacred Sword. Because Kyogre might be able to outspeed Landers. It's a close battle. It's a close speed battle. I know Zazian will be fastest for the rest of the battle. But I want to solidify our speed by going into a Max Airstream. And giving our team just another speed boost. I really want to take control of that. So finally, our Dynamax comes out. We play the late game for our Dynamax. And I think it's going to work out for the better for us. Because it's always tough when the player Dynamax. Because sometimes, like this guy, when he plays it too early, then the back end Dynamax from your opposing uh, opponent will just take you out. Like we're doing now. So since he doesn't have a Dynamax and we have one late game, it's pretty much going to win us the battle. So we play our Dynamax just right. We play it just right today. We're going to come in here with a Sacred Sword. We're going to say, hey, yo, Incineroar, you get on out my game. You're definitely dead. You gone. You are gone. And then we're out for the count. And then Landers might be able to soak this up. I don't think he is going to, though. Airstream coming out here. He already took some health. And that's going to take him out. Yo, that is GG's, baby. That is GG's. He has Kyogre left. Both of my Pokemon outspeed him. We're going to get a Dynamax shot. We're just going to Behemoth Blade. It's over. It is over with. You got to love it. You got to love it. So, solid second battle. Solid second battle. We did not get to show off the Lumberry combo. But we got to bring in Landers and use him in this battle. But third and final battle, you guys know. We are definitely using the Steam Engine we tried using it in battle number one it just didn't work out and then in this situation it was a little bit better to go in with the lumberry combo because we kind of figured he was leading the kyogre so we're just gonna go into a quake here and then we're gonna use a behemoth blade because i know behemoth blade will ko it and it just looks cool in the animation but he just canceled battle overall two and oh let's go grab ourselves a perfect record for today's video last battle for today's video coming at you guys let's grab ourselves a perfect record we're going up against a really strong ice fire calyrex team that features orangaroo torkoal and charizard combo my shell and the venusaur for that chlorophyll in that sun but i definitely want to get off the steam engine combo i just think it's a great play he has the my shell which he might end up leading but i'm gonna go into a uh, dragonite and colossal because we do have inner focus on the dragonite which works wonders we can't be faked out it's just great all around next pokemon i want to bring is probably zassian zassian is definitely the call and then landorus do we bring Landis or do we bring Tornadus? Let's take speed control maybe later in the match. Hmm. What's the call? I said we go, I said we go Landorus. Because Tornadus in the in the drought, if he does end up setting up the uh the heat, Hurricane, like I think it misses every single time. Or it's like 
a really low chance of hitting. So we're going to go in with Landorus, lock in this final spot, and look to grab ourselves that perfect record, and more importantly, showcase the Steam Engine Colossal side of this team. So I really want to show off the Lumberry squad, but, you know, we kind of did me dirty with the Intimidates. Kind of did me dirty. Actually, no, we just uh, we lost our, what's it called? We lost our uh, Tornadus in the last battle. So that was rough. So he's going to go in with these two. Probably try to fake me out. I got to get after that Oranguru. I have to take out that Oranguru. I have to take out a Ranguru, so you know what? I'm just going to go in here and drop a Volklith onto this thing right here. Volklith damage there, and then just Aqua Jet on the side. Works out really good. I'm actually glad he led the My Shell. Because like I said, we have Inner Focus on a Dragonite. We cannot be faked out. So if we can get off enough damage to take out this Ranguru before he pops a Trick Room, I think we're sitting in a great spot. Because I think that's why Ranguru's here, to pop Trick Room, get out Ice Rider Kylox, and just go from there. Right? That's got to be his play. That has got to be his play. And My Shell is probably just here for the fake out to try to just neglect the turn. And then, more importantly, get off the trick room. So, we'll see how this one plays out. We shall see how this one plays out. We can't be faked out, so I'm still hoping he goes for a fake out and just wastes a turn that way. And my shell's usually sash, so the vocal damage can actually take this thing out. He's going to go for... Ooh. Ooh. What a smart play. I'll give it to him all day. Smart play by him. He is going to be able to pop off a trick room. That's rough news. That's rough news. Trick room is going to be able to come out here. We don't like that one bit. Ally switch coming out here. Doing me dirty. That's tough. That's tough news. So, trick room is 100% in effect. It is 100% in effect here. So he's going to be able to get off Trick Room. We're going to take out the My Shell here. My Shell is gone. Even if it's Sash, the Volklith damage is going to take it out. Later, My Shell. There's the Sash. Volklith is going to chip it away. Okay, so he has the Trick Room. He's definitely bringing out the Calyrex, right? He's 100% bringing out the Calyrex. So we, we have to play uh, around this. We have to play around this. There's the Trick Room. Tough news, man. Getting outplayed. We don't like that. We do not like that. But I feel like, I feel like, uh, C Magic Castle is really strong, but it's very, very predictable. So it's really tough to actually use. It's very predictable. And a great move by him. Great move by him to go into the ally switch. Was not expecting that. Was not expecting that. He's going to bring out Ice Rider Calyrex, obviously, and then just Dynamax him and probably come after my Colossal. Probably come after my Colossal. Yep, there's Ice Rider Calyrex. Let's see how this one plays. I could go into an Intimidate. But do we think he's going into an Ice move? What is the play? What is the play here, Jeans? Oh my lord, I hate this game. I hate this game. I hate this game. Do you think he takes out Colossal? Maybe he predicts a guard. I think I'm going to do this. I think I'm going to do this. He might ally switch with him. I think he's going to ally switch with him. That's so tough, yo. Now we're sitting in such an awful position. Or, or, no. We know exactly what he's going to do. That's GG's. He's not even going to Dynamax. He's not even going to Dynamax. He's going to go into Glacial Lance and then use Obstruct. We don't like this one bit. Because that takes out my landers all day. Inner focus comes in from that thing. And see, yep. Bru oh, Brutal Swing's coming in here from them. That's fine. That is fine. He's going to do that. And proc a policy here. And probably just go for a Glacial Lance, right? So he is plus one. He gets crit on my Colossal. And what's he going for here? He's going for a Glacial Lance. Can you eat that up, Colossal? That's all I needed. Thank you. That's fine. That's fine. Colossal soaks up. We're sitting in a great spot. We are sitting in a great spot because we're going to be able to take out this lovely little, uh, this lovely little Calyrex. So I'm with that all day. I'm with that all day. He might, he might have thought that that was going to do more damage on the Colossal, but we're going to say bye-bye to him. We're still plus one. We take him out. Get on out my face. Loving that. Loving that Steam Engine Colossal on the board. And now we can bring out my, uh, Zassian as my last Pokemon. He still has Dynamax. We have one more turn left in Dynamax. We'll see who it is and then maybe protect the Pokemon, but it's going to come down to wire. Oh, we still have Dragonite. I totally forgot. Did I bring out Dragonite at this point and we still have turns? Yeah. Yep, that's going to be my play. We got to bring out Dragonite. We got to waste out uh, Dynamax turns. Or Trick Room turns, more importantly. And now he brings out... Ooh. Ooh, actually? Do I predict an ally switch? Do I predict an ally switch? We could indeed predict an ally switch. We're looking good here. We are looking good. I think we have to predict an ally switch here. But I don't think it really matters if we predict it or not. How many turns left in Trick Room? That's a real question. Three. Three turns left in Trick Room. I could protect, but I am just going to go for an Aqua Jet here. Just steal damage on the slot. And we're going to predict an ally switch, right? Show me the ally switch. Yeah! Yeah! I'm the best! I'm the best. I'm the best. Because he's not going to be able to take out my Colossal, right? With the Eruption. He's not going to be able to take out Colossal with the Eruption. No shot. No shot. We are... Oh, it's an Earth Power. Wait a minute. Oh, no! No! What you mean? Dude, he EPs me. He EPs me. We're sitting in an awful spot. Okay, uh. Hmm, what do we do here? Let Volklet damage chip away? 
This is tough. This is tough news here, guys. This is real tough news. Vocal is chipping away. I think we have one more turn left in that. Zassy's going to come out here. We have to protect this thing. Dude, this Torkoal scaring me, man. He's scaring me. We probably should have went to the double guard. But I did not think that thing was going to go for an earth power. I thought he was just going to erupt. I thought he was just going to erupt. EP coming in hot and it thumps on me because four times super effective. We have to protect you. And I think we just Aqua Jet. We just Aqua Jet. I'm going to say he doesn't ally switch here. Maybe he does. What do we think he's going to do? Protect coming out here. Do not ally switch. We got to get off some damage onto this Torkoal. No ally switch comes out here. Aqua Jet's going to poke. And do absolutely nothing. <laughs> Eruption's going to come out here. Can he soak this up? Uh, Dragonite? Dragonite, I need you to soak this one up. Please, please, please. All day. Easy eats, baby. Easy eats. I just get scared of Eruption. Even though I know it's not very effective, I just know that we have to soak it up. And, dude, this is over with. Dude, he's just going to instruct. Eruption coming out here again, dude. That's just huge damage. We're going to lose. I don't like this game. I don't like this game one bit. Dragonite's soaking. You go for double protect. Is that our only way out? I feel like double protect's our only way out here, right? Because once you have one more turn left in uh, Dynamax. Or Trick Room. Yeah, we have to go for double protect. Because if not, he's just going to double heat wave, double erupt. Double protect coming in hot. Let's do it. Let's do it. And I guess we'll surf. Come on, land this ass. Zassy, land this. Land it. Oh my god, I just won. I just won. I'm so nasty. I'm so nasty. Actually, it depends. It depends if we won. Great double protect. Yes, sir. <laughs> Run it. We're going to be able to soak that up. Is he obstructing again? Please do not obstruct. Is he obstructing again? Or instructing, whatever it is. Yeah, he is. Okay, I don't know if we won. Do we predict the ally switch now? Do we predict the ally switch? <laughs> it's going to be so close. Now, this one it comes down to. I said we won, but no, we, we, we're not 100% yet. It comes down to us predicting the ally switch. It comes down to it. And I think he does do it. I think he does go into it. I think he does ally switch. He has died. What the? He has. I totally forgot. I thought he used it. <laughs> Bro, what you mean? Yeah, we lost. <laughs> we lost. I forgot he had Dynamax, dude. But not a bad third battle here. We got the uh, Steam Engine Colossal in the back here. But this guy honestly just out trick roomed us and played really good in the beginning. I did not see that coming. What's he going for? Is he even ally switching? He is. He is. So we read the ally switch. We read the ally switch, but we're not going to be able to do enough damage. Or are we? Zassian is clutch. No, that's GG's. That is GG's. Max Flare's going to come in here. Zassian, it was nice knowing you, buddy. It was nice knowing you. That's GG's. We're going to go 2 and 1 for today's video. And use this team pretty well. I just wish we could have got to show off the combos a little bit more. But at least you guys know what they do. You know we have the Lumberry combo, and, we, and you know we have the Steam Engine combo as well. 2 and 1 for today's video. Ended up grabbing ourselves a winning record and had some fun with this team all around. I wish we got to show off the combos a little bit more, but it is what it is. At least you guys already know what they do. But this team is really, really strong, but the only problem with it is it is super predictable. Like our opponents usually know that we're going in with either the Steam Engine combo or the Lumberry combo. So it's just like if our opponents kind of reading us like that, it's tough when you are uh, digging a hole in turn one, if that makes sense. But guys, that is going to be for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spread some positivity today, and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.